Hi, everybody. Albert, Alineral, Patrick, DC, Albert, Piano, Stetson, Catch Alive, Amter, Standing Foot, Kate, Catch Alive, John Townsend, Jill Manderson, Missing Sky, Mickey Smith. Hi, folks. How oh, are you? Oh, what the hell? Hi, everybody. Albert. Looks like I put on a few pounds. Oh, too late now. Let's go on with the stream. Hi, Missing Sky, Mickey, Deborah. Red Button Studio, hard worker there, folks. Diver Dude, Jed Johnston, Johnson, Fix It Stupid. Thank you, Stetson. Stacy, hi. Stephen Meyer, folks. Stephen's a busy boy. Checks and Balances, Patrick, Aviator. Kurtzer Toxic, Radioactive Banana, Candace, Kathy, Craig, <laughs> Janet, Isotope. Isotope, Isoho, I <laughs> can't even get it right. <laughs> there we go, I buzzed through a lot that time. That was awesome. Anybody did I miss? Tom, I got everybody. I think so, close enough. Sorry I look a lot bigger than I, Arr. Yeah, standing foot. Okay, there you go. That's okay. Who's the troll? What do you got to say? Here, come on, troll. Shine in the light. I'll wait for you. Instead of wasting the first couple of minutes being jabber shit, let's get on with it. Where you two? Who's the troll? Come on, I'm watching. I'm waiting. I got your comments here. Let's hear it. Give it to me, both barrels. I'm sure everybody's waiting, dying to hear what you got to say. Come on, troll. Let's go. I saw hoax, Patrick says. Hi, Wiry, uh, Cutterman, 09, Craig, Patrick. I'm waiting for the troll show. Hi, Miss Milky. Not Miss Milky, folks. She's a sweetheart. We got a troll here, Miss Milky, somewhere. We're waiting for him. Hi, Steven. Uh, bah, bah, bah. Seedman Luke. Come on, troll. Two minutes and a, and, a, and a half into the video. You're wasting everybody's friggin' time. Get on with it. Let's hear it. What is it? What's your what's your irk? Let's hear it. Let's ear out the shit right here. Come on. To the big fat guy in the video. That look good with a bit of weight on me. <laughs> Come on, troll. The fuck he's trolling you guys and won't We're giving him every opportunity. You got the floor, man. Knock your socks off. Let's go. Come on. I'm waiting. Out there he is, James. Dana, your assertions are false. And the concern's largely unfounded because Fukushima radionuclides in the ocean water and marine life are at trace level and declining. <laughs> now I'm definitely going to do a video every week about Picker in Ontario, James. Every fucking week from here on out, Picker in Ontario, buddy. I'm going to fuck you over something awful. Uh, so loader trivial compared with, don't say it, don't you fucking say drinking water or bananas, buddy, or in nature. Okay, because the stuff in nature got nothing to do with Fukushima, dickhead. What do you think we do on this site every night? You're going to get, I'm going to fucking pound Picker in Ontario every friggin' week just for you, you fucker. I got all your comments already saved in the folder from all your other fucking accounts. Your ass is mine, bitch. You're gonna fucking get it now, James. Look, James, it's like this. Why would I lie? What the fuck is the sense of that one? Why would I need to lie? What's the sense of me lying, man? Why, why would I make shit up? Do you think that's gonna fucking get me anywhere making shit up? <laughs> I know you're getting paid. Right? You're not telling your family what you're doing. You're like, oh, it's like drinking water, honey. That's what Ken Busler always says, okay? You retarded fucking monkey. Like, how can you be so stupid and gullible? You can't. Unless you're 
make a money off it, like Ken Busler, five hundred and fifty dollars a package. You send us the water, you gotta pay for the shipping yourself. Send us five hundred fifty dollars, we'll send you a fucking plastic container to put your water in, <laughs> and an address. And it's all about three bucks a pound to ship it to us. But you already blew five fifty, might as well go in for another fifty. Like, how can you tell us, you know, come into a comment section and try to tell people that are aware of everything that happened, three melted cores right in the ocean, right friggin' in the ocean, and you got the balls to come in here and try to... I mean, come on, I thought you had something really good here to, you know, to, to give us, right? Oh, it's like background radiation, Dana. It can't be like background radiation, you retarded friggin' monkey. Why do you think they got all the licensing? Why do you think they put it in 45 gallon barrels and sneak out in the dark and dump it off ships? Cause it's like fucking background radiation. It's a million sievers at the gates of number one. What the frick do you think is rolling out into that ocean constantly? Not just that, the missing fuel pools, the three melted cores, hello buddy, with mox fuel. Let's get into the numbers. I don't care. Leave him alone. Let James fucking go on. I'll take I'll take screen captures. Put them in the folder for later. We'll get around to him one day. Uh, okay. Hang on. Let's go over and got me to digress. But I thought he was actually gonna have something, right? I gave you a chance, James. You friggin' blew it. Twenty thousand deaths exceeded U.S. Uh, excess U.S. deaths after Fukushima. January 19th, that was a study. Uh, it was originally based on 14,000 excess death that they traced uh, to Fukushima. Radioactivity at 300% normal background radiation in Los Angeles area dust, 350 counts per minute. Let me run down a few. Amount of radiation, three gallons of milk from Hawaii surpasses the annual maximum contamination. So cesium came over all over America, all over Canada, all over the Northern Hemisphere. I've covered the Americans modeling of the cesium-137, 134, of burping, and the dispersal over North America over and over and over, the betas, the gammas. Uh, but three gallons of milk, you got your whole year's dose, but you don't get a year's dose from from anything on a normal background radiation. This is how they lie to you. Arkansas milk is 300% above the EPA max maximum, because they're crazy. Environmental Protection Agency grandfathered in 65,000 chemicals in 1981 when they hung their shingle outside the door with no environmental, no human impact studies. Their words are garbage. They're like James Garrow's uh, words. They're useless, right? Uh, for iodine 131, right? Well, it's an eight day half life times 10 is 80. But you can't have the iodine. If you checked, you would have found the cesium, you would have found the uranium, you would have found, found any of the plutonium daughters. These uh, particles do not travel by themselves. That's not how this works. And so it's already there, James. It's washing back into the coastline, into the rivers, into the communities. Every time it rains, and every time they have storm, every time they have snow. Hang on. Let's keep going. Boulder, Colorado, a hot spot for Fukushima fallout. By March the 21st, five nuclear isotopes from Fukushima detected in Seattle. Iodine-131, Iodine-132, haha, and Trillium-132, haha, Cesium-134, ho ho, Cesium-137, hee hee. But they also were getting 10 radioactive hot particles minimum day. How many radioactive hot particles does it take to give you cancer, James? Not Dana, it's like normal background radiation. <laughs> do, do, do. do you like wear a cape when you come on a line and then you got like like this little mass on your face, James? I am Super James Go! Pickering Ontario Nuclear Power Plant Troll of the Internet. I roll the internet troll world. There is no internet trolls better than James Garrows. Rawr. Do, 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 by March the 24th. I'm sorry. California nuke plant detected 4,000% more iodine-131 than UC Berkeley. November the 7th, 2011. Do my fingers look fatter too in this video? <laughs> I'll fix that next time. 
I just wanted to try to see what it turned out. It's pretty freaking weird. I don't know. Whatever. Okay, let's go. One more. I got one more enemy system. <clears throat> CCM and I dying both at 600% EPA maximum contamination level in Hawaii milk. Arr. April 11th. April 11th. James made it all the way to Hawaii. April the fucking 11th. 2011. 30 days later. It was already at Hawaii. This is the first stretch to imagine it went past Hawaii. We got the models, man. From all the institutions were Hawaii. Your little fantasy you're talking about. Don't worry, I got my stuff in the folder. I'm not going to be taking off my truck tonight. Controversy after U.S. government estimates shows 40,000 microsiever thyroid doses for California infants from Fukushima that are not released to the public because no big fucking deal. Right, James? Very high dose for children. Well, James is like uh, that UC professor uh, for comparing ingestion of radioactive iodine to air travel. Right? Air travel, you don't ingest hot particles from Fukushima. Well, you do now, because the jet stream is full of it. All the planes that were flying through it kept getting irradiated, become concentrated. It's accumulative, right? They're not changing the fucking filters on these planes. And even if they did, it collects all that radiation that, that it can't even collect. But if it did, you got to realize that you're taking outside air on the plane, okay? It's as simple as that. Like, I'm not here because I want to be. I'm really not. I'm here because I ain't got no options. Because of people like James from Pickering, Ontario, who's really going to get it next week. I can maybe even do it tomorrow night just to get the bang out there right off the bat. And the rest of the scumbags. Let me, let me do a couple more. Don't drink the rainwater, says the state of Virginia. Right, you remember 20, 20 million uh, Beckwells in a liter of rainwater in California I was doing last night. Like, you know, that was iodine, but there's just as much there as CCM, or, and there's 30 times more strontium wherever there's CCM, by the way. I'll get in that in a second. Hang on. Let me get this started here. Because I'm not even freaking started. Thanks to James. Got me off on a little run. Ha ha ha. Uh, LA Times. Ken Busler. Little freak. He insists that while the situation continues to be serious in the immediate vicinity of the reactors, fear of ocean-borne radiation on the west coast of the United States are severely overblown. This is in LA Times, right? This was uh, last month, or January 29th, I think. But there's a thriving subculture, that'd be us, on the internet that continues to distribute scary material for telling the truth. With headlines like, holy Fukushima, radiation from Japan is already killing North America. Well, 20,000 extra, extra death. Remember, there was a huge spike in Canada for 14 weeks after Fukushima. Babies dying. Friggin' baby killers and puppy killers. And 28 signs the West Coast is being absolutely fried with nuclear radiation. This is what Ken Buesler quoted in the LA Times. It's still boggling me that there is a large part of the public that is so scared they think about moving from the West Coast that they're afraid to go swimming in the water and eating fish, Buesler says. Buesler says that no radiation from Fukushima has reached the United States yet. What about all those headlines I just read? Right, so he's trying to distract you with the ocean and equate the ocean like I did in, in part one of this video that you'll find below that's around 10 minutes long but it shows the little creature, the little critter just constantly saying the same lie over and over and over and over and over hang on and this is him doing it again he's talking about how it's 1.5 Beckwells per cubic meter of ocean water a cesium-137 and might reach as high as 30 Beckwells that's still an order of magnitudes lower than the Environmental Protection Agency's ma maximum level of 7,400 Beckles. They don't even put it in context. They're talking about drinking water in that one. And when you link over to what they got there, uh, it's their uh, the LA Times page itself. Hang on.
He said, that's just spe spreading misinformation, like shouting fire in a crowded theater. Right? Well, well, him going around telling everybody that water coming out of Fuka, the, the, the radiation coming out of Fukushima turns to potassium-40, 1,500 miles out to sea, like I showed you in that last video, in presentations all over the country, that's lying. That's, that's straightforward lying. What he done up on PBS, a straightforward, 100% lying. Yahoo carrying the story and repeating it, that's 100% lying. The BBC carrying the story, no big surprise, because they had Jimmy Savile there raped over a thousand children on the premises, along with a lot of the upper management of the BBC, is lying. It's an outrageous lie, too. Asking people to give them 550 fucking dollars for a cardboard box to send them a sample of water is his money grab. That's his payoff. He get a thousand people, that's, that's a half a million dollars. He can buy himself a suit and try to make himself look human. He really could. Probably wouldn't work. He says the plume is expected, is predicted to reach the U.S. coast April 2004. It will be detected, detectable but not harmful. Samples taken off the coast of Vancouver Island in June 2013 showed the plume had reached it, but the observe, observed concentration are at most one barrel per square meter. In other words, 7,400 times less than the EPA's maximum concentration for drinking water. Drinking water is potassium-40. You drink it, you off-gas the same amount of potassium-40, 7,500 becquels that was in that particular glass of water. Right? Yeah? Huh? 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 Yeah? 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 And if you had 7,500 becquels of cesium, you be really, really a uh, whole lot of tumors in your body. That would sequester in your organs, in your bones, right to your heart. It would go into your muscles. You don't poop it out. Well, that that much you probably poop out some. But the cesium goes in, it immediately seeks to hurt the muscles, uh, even, you know, sequestered into your organs. So it's, it's an utter fabrication for him to use potassium-40. Hang on. And that crowdfunding routine he's got up there, D News, or um, Discovery, what the hell is that? I can't remember. Just two weeks ago, Kim Buesler launched a brilliant crowdfunded campaign, a radioactive ocean, to measure radiation off the west coast of the U.S. And not surprisingly, it was a huge success. That's because National Geographic and everybody, I got National Geographic here too. In just two weeks, they have funded, sampled, and tested sites in California and Washington. And the results are, the four sites are now posted online on these websites. Fukushima has not been detected at any of the four sites that were sampled. Seawater was measured for cesium-137, 134. By comparing the relative concentration of both isotopes, you can figure out the source of the radio isotopes. They found very low levels of cesium-137, but cesium-134 was below detectable levels. Well, how the fuck did you find it? Indicating the cesium is originally from atomic bomb testing in the 1960s. Ha ha ha. So what does this mean for the West Coast right now? The immortal words of Ken Buesler himself. The reason we see such a low levels of radiation in these animals is because we're not fucking trying. And the plume is not here yet. We're just taking the money and partying. But it's coming. We need more fucking money. And we'll actually be able to see its arrival. If you give us enough fucking money, that's baseline data is critical. The plum is predicted to reach to the U.S. West Coast, April 2014. Not a fucking day before, Dana. Give us time to get ready for another PR campaign. The ocean currents coming out of Fukushima at a mile an hour will get here in 227 fucking days. And it travels up to 9 kilometers an hour in the Kurosha Current. But I worked as a commercial diver for 14 fucking years in the ocean, six hours a day on the ocean floor. And I can tell you a thing or two about currents, mister. I used to have to wear 110 pounds of fucking lead to go to work some days. Because the current is so friggin' fast. Mmm. 
Uh, let me keep going. So it's fairly detectable, shows the plume has reached it, but observations, concentrations, no more than one back wall. Once again, in other words, 7,400 fucking times less than the EPA maximum concentration. Well, you know, I'm glad you cleared that all up there, buddy. That was a deep sea news. Well, let's go over is the radio uh, National Geographic. Got some doozies on this one. Boom, 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 boom. Marine chemists at the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution have been studying the effects of uh, sucking money out of the public fucking pockets. Fear is good for you, shithead. I mean, Ken, isn't it? Without all the fair monger, no one would be giving you $500 a fucking pop. You'd be getting fuck all. You'd be there puking your guts over the side of the boat seasick like the pathetic fucker you really are. I'm sorry, $550 to $600 a pop. <laughs> Sue me. Bustler says, no radiation from Fukushima has reached the United States yet. National Geographic. Okay. All right. It's okay. Can. I'd like you to explain a couple of the little fucking issues I got with this, though, if you don't mind. <laughs> I want you to tell me why they had all the radioactive rainfall all over northern British Columbia, all over Canada, all over North America, and why that's recorded all over the fucking place. Uh, Virginia had rain, they, don't, they wouldn't let you drink the rainwater. Florida's rain had the third most cesium 134 and the fifth iodine 131, 134, and the fifth most iodine 131 and 72 samples that were contaminated. April 13, 2011, 33 days later, the feds admit Radioactive Xenon 133 from Fukushima detected two days ago in Washington State, March the 18th. March the fucking 18th. Seven days after. Because it went up in the jet stream, got carried over. So for Ken Busler to say no fucking radiation. Sorry, folks. For Ken Busler to say no radiation made it over to America is criminal. 100% criminal. And the people... They put them up there on like PBS and BBC and LA Times and Deep Sea News and all the other bootlicking cheerleading lapdogs of the nuclear industry, the apologists, the puppets, the, uh, like the, the James Garrels of the world, the useless feeders, the parasitic lawyers, the maggots of our world. They truly are the parasitic vultures on this planet. Go over to Elsevier Publishing and type in fucking Fukushima. There's 3,900 hits. A lot of money to read all of that because you can't read it without paying it. There's a lot of fucking studies done on that, buddy. Blah. Florida, very, very fucking high iodine 131. It doesn't travel by itself. There's iodine, there's cesium, there's strontium, there's fucking uranium and plutonium, okay? Really naughty, really terrible. 12,000 atoms per square meter in New Hampshire, Hampshire from Fukushima. 12,000 fucking atoms, radioactive atoms. A single radioactive atom gets in your body, you goes into your organs or into your friggin' bones or goes to the liners of your lungs or the liners of your brain. And your body attacks it constantly and builds a tumor around it. The more you get, the more tumors you get. 12,000 atoms, radioactive fucking iodine atoms. If there was tw and they, that's all he looked for was the iodine. So if they had been looking, he would have found all the cesium atoms, all the plutonium atoms from the three melted cores. And it only takes three days for it to go up into the jet stream. So Ken is an outright, outrageous, unimaginable fabricator, just like James Garrell. Whatever the fuck that creature is. Fukushima forecast. Large radiation cloud near in California, April 11th. And this was Norwegian Institute for Air Research. These are all authentic articles I'm reading here. I'm not like James where I make fucking shit up. I'm not like Ken Busler where I just lie and manipulate and say, oh, it's like, uh, you know, 7,500 times 
more decay in your fucking water. If I drink 7,500 Beckles, I not only off gassed 7,500 Beckles of the water potassium, but also that cesium potassium, 7,500 Beckles. And so now instead of just the 4,900 a second of Beckles of cesium I normally off gas, you gotta add on another 7,500 Beckles of the most atrocious shit on the planet. Plus don't forget, there's probably another 5,000 Beckles or 30,000 Beckles of fucking plutonium or strontium. There's always 30 times more strontium with cesium. I gotta remind myself all the time. 30 fucking times. It's not a joke. It's not a game. And then they're poisoning us by taking all the nutrients. Not everything. They left a couple of percentages there. But by taking most of the fucking nutrients. See, I can't even use that word anymore now. You know, it's just a figure of speech. They took it all out. They have to leave something there. Can't have a fucking plant they don't leave something there. But that's the reality of it. They took it all out of there. And left a little tiny bit there so it still looks like a friggin' plant. And so when you eat that, how can you stay healthy? How can you fight off the cancers? How can you fight off the tumors, James? You fucker. Bag of shit. You're getting fucking pickering tomorrow night, buddy. I might do it all week. A whole fucking week on pickering Ontario, you prick. Fukushima radioactive plume contaminated the entire northern hemisphere during a relatively short period of fucking time. The Fukushima air mass hit California after 311 when North Oregon, Washington, and Canada. Just fucking endless plumes came out of there. You fucking lying prick. You lying bunch of maggots. Go fuck yourselves. You fucking parasites. All the fucking mouthpieces. The fucking National Geographics. The PBS. The BBC. The Los Angeles Times, all of these fucking lawyers, deep sea news. What, you can't fact check? You can't fucking fact check what you write? You bitch, I don't let the fucking conspiracy theories are out there. You don't fucking call me a conspiracy theorist. I'm a fucking researcher. I fucking research it. I don't shit here and blowing off shit. I have a bit of fun sometimes. But I fucking research what I say. And when I say something, it's what I fucking mean. Because if not, everybody fucking tears me apart over nonsense. Ninnies me to fucking death. Cam Dusseler's out there saying whatever he fucking wants. But gotta come here and be critical of fucking Dana with the James Far fucking Garrows. What a freak. What a fucking idiot, man. Don't even stare at me, look. These cigarettes got no fucking chemicals from the EPA. Your average cigarette got 4,000 chemicals. These got none. Like, who the freak thought that one up? Oh, I'm going to put 4,000 chemicals in a cigarette. The EPA, see, by grandfathering in 65,000 chemicals, made it acceptable to put 4,000 chemicals in your freaking cigarette, legally. They never bothered to environmentally check it themselves or do impact studies on it themselves. I'm just so choked that these people are up there in the media and the media don't say a fucking word. Then they come out and they do two videos about me and demonize me. And all I'm doing is telling the truth. If I lied to you, what was the fucking sense of putting the video out there? It's only about I research. I'm not a friggin' activist. I might be. <laughs> but I don't, I don't think I qualify as an activist. I think I qualify as a researcher and that I'm disturbed and shocked I really truly am shocked by media putting people like Ken Buesler up there on a pedestal without fucking fact checking what you're saying in the article why the fuck would I want to listen to your shit again why should I go to National Geographic ever again why would I let my children go there when you're going to do shit like that why should I let anybody read BBC anyway after what Jimmy Savile done on the property for fucking almost six decades, raping fucking children, and then then letting uh, the BBC upper management and the trolls like James Farrell, Garrow, 
I had to go at him after. Because that's what happened. You know, they got to come out and lie. That's the only way they can fucking do anything. Why can't they tell the truth? Why do they got to lie? And then why are, why are they demonizing me or anybody else for telling the truth? Because it makes them look like the idiots that they are, the cowards, the traitors, the parasites on society that they really truly are. Right? James is just a parasite. He's a vulture. That's why he's here tonight. He's a, he's a vulture. He's a predator. He's being paid to come here. There's no other reason for him to keep showing up. It doesn't make any sense. We gave him every fucking opportunity in the world to ch try to make him seem like a normal fucking human. And he had to come out, oh, there's no worse than normal background radiation. And I just read your headline after headline, and you're still probably there spamming me right now with your freaking nonsense. What are I going to do with you, James? Huh? Why don't you go down there and volunteer at Fukushima? Why don't you and Ken, and Bu Ken, you and Ken Busel go down and hang out in front of number one? Get a selfie. Get yourselves a selfie. As you're fucking melting. Like a cartoon. Vancouver paper held Canada to take massive amounts of radioactive material from Fukushima. But I never got here, Dana. Ignore everybody. I die in 131 spike above the maximum allowable limits, which are... Right, the 7,000 becquels you allowed in your water for potassium. They flipped it over and they use it for everything else. And they're comfortable enough, the media just fucking keeps throwing them out there. Like they're somebody. Like they're actually credible. Like, how can you trust these people ever again? I mean, that, that article up on Yahoo from about Canada, that's not fucking atrocious. That's horrible. What a demented fucker that guy is. To let him get off with that. Why, you can't fucking fact check? You really can't fact check, buddy? Is that just like, how the frick do you even tie your own shoes every day? You can't fact check that. National Geographic can't fact check it. The LA Times can't fact check it. BBC can't fact check it. Deep Sea News can't fucking fact check the sentence before they put it up on their fucking page and shove it down people's throats. You maggots. You cowards. You fucking traitors. You imbeciles. How long do you think you keep this charade alive, you fuckers? I read you all the headlines, it doesn't matter. No, Dana! Dana's making it all up! High concentration radiation hits the US and Canada. October 29, 2011. Plume was rich in 137. Close to the surface from Vancouver to Hawaii and Florida. Texas was under a huge fucking cloud, came back around. The dispersal models from all the institutions, from Swiss, from France, from fucking Belgium, from all over the freaking planet. And they're only modeling Unit 1. It took them almost a year to confess to Unit 3. And another year to confess to Unit fucking 2. And, and they still haven't confessed to Unit 4. They're always like, oh, it's okay, we're going to get all the fucking rods out of it. Look, we fixed it all up. Only cost a couple of hundred thousand Japanese. There's a million Seavers at number one, buddy. A million. A million. A million. The fuck do you think that is? They detonated. There's three detonations in a nuclear explosion at Fukushima. But it's okay, Dana. No, Dana, you know, Chernobyl, they, they evacuated those 3,500 square miles. Because they're not very clever. Right, Dana? It was only a 30% meltdown in Chernobyl and he evacuated 3,500 and still evacuated square miles. Back in the 50s, he evacuated 9,000 square miles and evacuated 7,500 communities because they had morals and they had ethics, right? They had a conscience. More than I can say for James. Certainly more than I can say for Ken Busler. Oh, a creepy fucker that guy is. That's just creepy shit, okay? Hot particles bombarded the west coast of USA and Canada. What the fuck do you think happened to it? Uh, yeah, Dana came true, but now it's gone. Turns into potassium 40, Dana. 
And I say it don't. I say it can't. I say it will never do that in our lifetime, a lot of this stuff. The uranium plutonium. And eventually, all of this will decay down to potassium-40. Cesium won't get there, 137, for at least 300 fucking years. So it's in your soil. It's in your water. It's in your, 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 your community's water. It's in your pipes. It's in your homes. You shower in this fucking shit. And they're trying to sneakily flip this so they can raise the level to 10,000 becquels per cubic meter of water for cesium-137, cesium-134, strontium-90, right? This is what they're up to, right? They're acclimating everybody at a ferocious pace, putting this nonsense out everywhere in the hopes no one's going to call them on it or nobody's powerful enough to expose it. And they know that. There is nobody out there willing to put me up there in their fucking blogs. The people just can't wrap their minds around it. There's no big sites out there willing to tell the truth. Right? You know, we've lost our way in the planet. They all want to live in their little tiny compartmentalized, insignificant fucking paradigms. And we're facing the biggest catastrophic event humanity ever heard of. And just kicked me off. I don't puff on a cigarette enough to keep it lit. I got no filters on it too because filters if you put filters on your cigarette it makes it makes the particle able to get through the liner of your lung I'm still offline hello is there anybody out there creepy fucking bastards I'm kicked offline I still got red blah 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 come over to the video no it's not a fucking joint sorry they get kicked off. They got kicked off. <coughs> Not gonna let me back on and like guys are up. You gotta think things crew true. <sighs> when you go honeymoon in high rack. James, why don't you go honeymoon in Iraq? That's a good question. Angry, not depressed. Looking at your window. Yeah, I'm trying to be. You're still live? Well, I'm not showing up on the screen here. I'll restart it here. Hang on. I'm just chatting on anyway. I couldn't get on for a whole half an hour before I went live. It was only like five minutes before I went live. It's still showing me technical difficulties. You folks are saying I'm up, but I don't see my uh, video there. Hi, Dana, I'm still on. That's the fire safe control. Yeah, I got a little plug there. I can drop the cigarette in the plug. That's a good question. All right, look at the size of me. I'm Dana. Ha ha ha. Rip. Oh, fucking rip. Rip somebody's fucking head off. Come here, aren't you? The freak, man. Uh oh. Hello, everybody! That was Ken's head. He only got one head left now. <laughs> oh, I got him broken. Ken's broken. There's Ken's little baby. He's got an extra set of legs. And uh, he's got weird fucking arms. Little radiation chummies on his hands. Hi everybody. I'm Ken. I'm fucking Ken. Like you heard, style Ken. Who done that for your mommy? Yeah, my mommy done it for me, Dana. Ah! There you go. You want me to pop his fucking hitter up? Let me give him a couple shots in the hitters for you, Kenny, you fucker. You and your $550 bag. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't hit me in the face, Dana. I spent all day working on him. I don't want to pop it. <laughs> oh. Oh. Let's throw Ken away, you junk. Sorry, Ken, I break your leg that tiny little fucker. That's metaphorically, I'm busting his head. So I took away his power that time. 
I took away his power. A little fucking happy cheeky here. A little cheeky up in this one. I gave it to Kent. I'm uh, pretty fucked up sometimes. Woo! I felt better, actually. Okay, let's get back to business here. James still around? James, what the fuck are you still doing here, man? That's okay. Now we gotta have a bit of fun on people sometimes. James liking himself. I never hurt his feelings. You can't hurt a troll's feelings. <laughs> How fucked up is that? It can't hurt a real troll's feelings. Let me restart this page. And why we're we waiting for that to happen. Let me come down and finish off the hoo-ha I was on to. Hot particles bombarded the west coast of U.S. and Canada December 22nd, 2011, mister. You gotta realize the three melted reactors, unlike Fukushima or Chernobyl, was one-third the size of any of the reactors at Fukushima. Chernobyl was a 30% meltdown. Fukushima's were 100% meltdown. Fukushima detonated and went all over the site, and they came in bulldozers and buried it, so every time it rains and snows, it washes that down onto the bedrock and swept it into the ocean. It's going down to the bedrock. They figure the cores must have made it down to the bedrock quite a long time ago. The core, cores of the reactors breached their containers within days. Okay, we already established that on this site. Uh, this this is still an ongoing nightmare. It's an ongoing fucking nightmare of biblical proportions. I shouldn't use them words, I guess. But hot particles found at two out of three U.S. sites. But it never made it over here, Dana. Can I already explain that to you, Dana? So why don't you shut up and leave him alone, Dana? Because Ken is a fucking superstar who equates hideous radiation and its effects with insignificant bananas and potassium 40. So that's not a human. That's not a man. That's not somebody you want to admire. There you go, kicked off again. Just got to shit on fucking Dana Knight. Hot particles, hot radioactive particles. Get your hot particles in Seattle. Get your radioactive hot fucking particles. Seattle, they love them. 50% of the levels seen in Tokyo. <laughs> Where do you think that stuff is going to go? Do you think that stuff is just going to magically turn into fairy dust and there's never going to be an issue? Is that what the people literally think? Because that's what people like Ken Buesler are employing. How can they get out there at National Geographic and BBC and PBS and LA Times and Deep Sea News and all these friggin' places and say that and nobody fact checks it? We fact-checked it. It's an outright, outrageous, blatant lie. A blatant misrepresentation. A blatant hoax upon society. It's a betrayal of the academics. It's a betrayal to all the scientists out there that want to be taken serious. Because how the fuck can we take scientists serious if they're not going to hold their own accountable? If they're going to let their own, like Ken Buesler, to run wild... Why should we give a fuck about them? Why should we give two fucking pennies about them? Why should we have nothing but disrespect for them? Why should we call them out every opportunity we get? Why shouldn't we hold them accountable? Why do we have to hold them accountable? It's because the fuckers that give them the time of day don't. The, the main influential media out there doesn't bother to fact check a single fucking sentence. Not one. National Geographic never fact-checked a single sentence. This is the yellowest journalism you could possibly get to. It's the most despicable thing imaginable. That all the media, none of them, all of them just pumped them out there. There's a fucking wood hole oceanographic uh, kidney boy. So why should we hold them responsible? Fukushima... Contamination in the ocean reached Alaska in under a month, April 4, 2012. Study radioactive water to reach Hawaii in two years showed that. But see, the currents coming across the ocean at a mile an hour, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 
227 days, it's on your coastline. And then the next day, day two of the release is on your coastline. Then the next day, uh, day 230, day three of the release is on your coastline. And so the plume keeps coming. And then all the stuff that landed all over your country, all over North America, gets rained into your fresh water, gets rained into your rivers, gets rained into your lakes, and gets washed out of, out of the woods. When you have fires, you liberate those isotopes back into the environment. And uh, the isotopes we're talking about, I mean, there's links below with the buckyballs. You really need to understand it. And these buckyballs, they're not the normal CC-137 anymore. It's not the normal iodine anymore. It's not the normal plutonium anymore. It's a much more dangerous particle. First off, because it went through the uh, chain reaction, through the fission processing, right, which is creating all these hideous isotopes in the first place. And they put salt water, sulfur, right? So it's urethal peroxide sulfur combination is a phenomenon that they've never done before where they spray salt water on a melted reactor. Not that we know about. I'm sure you've done that before. They just never told us. Kim Dusler should go down and do a study in Iraq and, and Afghanistan. She go down to Fallujah and do a study for us on how potassium-40 caused 80% of the fucking babies down there to be born with no eyes, no nose, no ear, no mouth. And we're seeing that happening now in America where your babies are being born at an at a increasingly rate. We've seen what our studies of Dr. Mengele, the Nazi puppy killer, uh, Gilsmitty, Dr. Raymond Gilsmitty, from KRQE News Channel 13. And how he showed how just minuscule amounts of plutonium inhaled, which are the hot particles, the equivalent, produce cancer in all the animals, the puppies, the beagles. Right? What a fucking demented guy that guy is. Kim Beersler is no different than that guy, okay? He'll do anything for a friggin' dollar. He has no life whatsoever. Look at him. Go look at his video. He has no personality. He has no sincerity. His voice is weak. He's a coward. If he bumped into somebody on the street, they could just rob him because he's a coward. They can just hear it in his voice like he's nothing. He's a nobody. He's a mass fucking murderer is what he really is. He's just a useful idiot for the system. National Geographic, BBC. Obviously, these people are all connected. PBS, Deep Sea News. Obviously, LA Times, are, these are all connected. They all gave him a free pass. Nobody hold him accountable. Nobody corrected his shit. Nobody said, ah, oh, come on, Ken, you know it's fucking different than that. Why the fuck would you give a, why would you give a fuck about these people for? I have nothing but fucking contempt for them. They are parasites as far as I'm concerned. And I would tell it to them face, to their faces, in a fucking heartbeat. Any friggin' time they want. And why? They're cowards. I would love to have the opportunity to fucking throw down with one of these pieces of shit. All of those pieces of shit. They can't stand up against the truth. They can't stand up against the fact. Ken can't come out and counter me. He can't come out and say, Dana, you're friggin' wrong. He can't do that. LA Times can't come out and say, Dana, you're fucking wrong. Because they're wrong. It's simple to prove. All you gotta do is go and just research everything they said. It's all fucking wrong. It's all lies. It's incredible lies. How the fuck can you even come up with those lies? Why would you even say those lies? What's to be gained from that? Just keep people in the dark? Deceiving people? Do you think they're not actually going to work that one out at some point along the way? In the very near fucking future? You ever hear tell of the internet? You ever tell of a fucking search engine? You can't keep hiding it. You can't keep destroying the planet. You just can't keep fucking doing what you're doing to us. Local forecast is all of California on a radiation threat. April 6th and 7th shows levels as high as in Japan. Norwegian Institute for Air Research. You know, what the fuck? Washington Air Monitor shows sustained radiation spikes on March the 31st and goes out of service. Same city where I die in 131 found in drinking water. 
But I can't reach North America, Dana. I just can't. People won't give me 550 fucking dollars a box if they fucking think that shit. Maybe they will, Ken. Maybe they'll give you all kinds of fucking money. You know, with the talent that Ken got, if he was to come over to the good side, or he can blow the whistle, from his little bunker that he's building to hide away from you folks. Fatal radiation levels found at Fukushima exceeds 10 sievers per hour. A million at the gate of number one. Fatal at 10. And the UC Berkeley author was off by 27 times. He raised the limits, UC Berkeley did, in his paper. 27 times the limit allowed in drinking water. Right? Just fucking lie. And everybody came up with that lie. But somebody called him out for it, right? So he got held accountable a little bit. But Ken, Ken Busler gets a free pass. Little mass murderers like Ken Busler, Jay Collin, all these other freaks. These are freaks. They should have a city where they keep them all in. Called um, radioactive cesium levels continue to rise in milk from San Francisco Bay, 134. Radioactive iodine detected by Tampa Bay Area Nuclear Plant. Iodine travels to the area very easily. It don't travel by itself. It travels with plutonium, uranium. And wherever there's cesium, there's 30 times more strontium. So every time Ken Buesler says there's this many becquels of cesium, there's actually 30 times more strontium that he can't even fucking test for. No matter how much money you give it to him. Cause, and I got that article in, the, in the National Geographic. Hang on. Uh, bu, 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 bu. Let me see if I get this right. Oh, Kenny boy. The sh However, the highest, higher concentration of strontium 90, this is Ken Buesler, National Geographic, that is now in the outflow poses a trickier problem because it's a bone seeking isotope. So he's actually admitting to it. He's uh, admitting to it. And because you're using mox fuel, there's 30 times more strontium. But there's a massive amount of this stuff because you have three melted cores, you have a fuel pools that are missing you and they're spread all over the site and hemorrhaging into the environment. And that's getting washed out into the ocean. You have unit four that the fuel pool melted. You have the reactors that had 3,450 fuel assemblies in them when they went friggin' down. Some of them, like one and three. And you're talking about 80 bundles, 80 uh, rods in a bundle, 12 foot rods in a bundle. Half a rod is enough to kill all the mammals on the planet after you kill all the animals, and the humans rather. 3,450 bundles times 80 rods in a bundle, an assembly. But I mean, there was, there was a shithead talking about strontium 90. What's the date on that? National Geographic. Fukushima radioactive water leak, what you should know. That's the head of that, if you're looking for it. And what else did he say there? No, oh, poses little threats, shut the fuck up. Uh, hang on, let me get one word of that one. Usually thinks the risk is mostly confined to local fish that dwell mostly at the sea bottom, where radioactive materials settle. Well, you think it's all going to go and fucking settle on the bottom, Ken? Really, Ken? Really? With all the freaking studies we got out there, one one thousand, one ten thousandth of a millionth of a meter, you think it's just gonna fucking fall on down to the ocean floor? You know, the cold water brings it back up right away with the nutrients. Because it's smaller than the nutrients. It gets lugged right back up to the surface to feed the phytoplankton, which is the basis of the food chain. There's 75 or 100 million in a glass of ocean water. That's the basis of the food chain. Not a trillion creatures, there, but there's 75 to 100 million. Phytoplankton, that also makes the oxygen. You drop an isotope in there, they're done. You pour that into a liter of salt water, it'll kill all the creatures in that. You pour it into a five gallon bucket, that isotope will kill all the creatures in that. It'll do that for whatever its lifespan is. I mean, we got studies, they're showing the, the cesium will get back to Japan in about 20 or 30 years. That'll fucking turn into potassium 40 for 300 years. And it doesn't travel by itself. Striving with all that fucking strontium 90 and all that uranium 4.5 billion a year, half lifetimes 10. 
Don't give a fuck about that. There's 240,000 years for plutonium, 238, 239, 240, 241. I'm just clicking away right now. Ah, blah. Rawr. You know, like, it's so frustrating to see maggots, the parasitic vultures of society, out there making money off this. Radioactive strontium found in uh, Hawaii milk. Hang on. Let's type that in my little friggin' search. And there's T-R-O-N, blah, 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 T-R-U-M, blah, 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 Dana. What are you doing that for, Dana? Well, you don't just ask Cam Busel, Dana. Don't do that, Dana. Uh, 24 million becquels of linear strontium and other better emitters at the gates to number three. January, January 20th, 2014. January 20th, 2014. 24 million becquels a liter. Well, you remember, an earthquake picked this fucking place up and broke its back and drained its poles, okay? They're spraying water in there constantly because the rods are everywhere. They can't get inside the fucking places. Ever. Not in your lifetime. They need to sarcophagus it. But they can't. You know, for a hundred years and wait for the radiation to come down a bit. It's one of those nights where I swore a lot, isn't it? Whatever. Record high 10 million becquels a liter strontium 90 and other becqua. February 6, 2014. Blah, blah, blah. Hang on. I'm not clicking properly. Water still contains 130 million becquels per liter of radioactive strontium after being treated. December 5th, 2011. <gasps> that was leaking out. It's 130,000 becquels a cubic centimeter of radioactive strontium. There's a cube you don't want to put in your fucking soup. Strontium found 80 kilometers from Fukushima plant. 15 becquels a square meter. Plutonium 239, 240 in Minnesota. Soma. Yeah, they got some huge numbers of that shit there. Strontium found in 2200 locations in Fukushima. Not surprising, it's in Yokohama, 250 kilometers away. 2200 locations. It's unbelievable. It's 30 times more strontium in that freaking place. And that gets liberated and keeps spreading all over the country. It gets picked up in the rain, brought up, and crawled right across the ocean until the end of time. There's a constant flow coming over in the jet stream from this fucking place. Not as bad as it was. But the sky, you know, the, the, the upper atmosphere, the troposphere, is fucking polluted for decades before that stuff rains out. Strontium-90 found 245 kilometers from meltdown in Yokohama, 150 times background, which is Ken Buesler's 7,500 Beckles. Just 7,500 Beckles, if you drink that, it will fuck you up, buddy, right on the spot. You don't off-gas that shit, ever. Plus, it's going to have the cesium there, too. <laughs> That's a cure. 150 times background. So 150 times 10,000. Just fucked up numbers, okay? It really is. Let me hit a couple more. 30 times more strontium-90 than cesium at Fukushima. PBS. Gee. Go figure. That's how we started this video off tonight. PBS reporting 30 times more strontium August 9, 2013. Came to was up there. Oh, it's just fucking cesium-137. And I was like, oh, just like, ah, bananas, background radiation. Guys, come on, just give me your money and leave us alone. What do you need to do all those studies for, shithead? If there's nothing to worry about, why are you out there crossing fucking oceans? And you... Ken Busler, you were at Fukushima, or, uh, Chernobyl, but you didn't touch it until Fukushima, and you came on board, and you haven't shut up since. But non-stop, just fucking sucking the money. Does Woods Hold have any nuclear scientists? He just got fucking rejects like Ken Busler. No pieces. Manipulators. Hoaxers. He's a fucking hoaxer. 58 minutes. Time to wind it down. All right. Radioactive strontium found in milk in Hawaii. April of 27, 2011. Never took all fucking year, did it? Because the jet streams travel, even at 100 miles an hour, is going to get here in three days. 
And you better believe the studies that we've been through on this site of it going up five miles, of it going up nine miles. It was just a constant plume of extraordinarily tiny particles, extremely ear, uh, able to be transported in the air because they're so tiny, because they spray that salt water, that sulfur, on the reactors. This is a phenomenon they've never seen before. And so I'll just come in and I'll come over to the video and say hi to everybody. We'll wind it. We'll say good night. Thanks everybody for dropping in. Let me kill that before. Hey James, you know that when I ban you from my channel, all your comments disappear at the one time, no matter where you're to on my channel. Just so you know all that work you put in the night is was worth it. Everybody enjoyed it. You gain nothing on the enemies. Okay, there we go. You're gonna say up night. Say good night, folks. Uh, Am thirst. Cap red. Re ramp. Shut the fuck up, James. Nobody cares what you got to say, man. We're telling facts. We're not telling fables like you. You fucking dummy. DC Sergeant Albert Jill. We wouldn't mind if you made sense, but you don't. Radioactive banana. I O Gene Green. Yeah, he's not a newbie. Weapons for the head and the nukes for in your food and rain. Wanna be live twenty four? Atom, nuts for earth, toxic, re ram. Oh Red Button Studio. Ain't Jester. Elizabeth. Candace. Let me see what we got here. Albert. Hey, buddy. Shut the fuck up, James. Yeah, well, we'll see. Stacy Anderson, Irina Rell, Albert, DC, Sweet Jane, Sweet Jane, Patrick. Oh. Tom Freener. Well, we won't let the trolls stay here anymore. They're going crazy on us. David Gee. Uh, tree, standing foot. That's all I got. Okay, folks. That was a pretty good stream. And it's okay to have little trolls like James around once in a while. And a twisted fucker. You got so much of his shit now anyway. I don't even care. <laughs>